Hey guys, this is Damien from Dame Tech back with another video. In this video, I'll be showing you all a way to improve the GPU performance of your S21 device. As I've said before, MiHoYo definitely needs to optimize Genshin Impact for both the Snapdragon 888 and Exynos 2100. However, in the meantime, it seems there are some workarounds to improve the performance of your device. For starters, like you just saw, make sure your S21 device's power saver mode is disabled to experience full CPU performance. Next, if you go into the Play Store app, search for Samsung Game Driver. If you have the Snapdragon 888, you'll want to install the Adreno version, while for the Exynos, you'll want to install the Mali version. Despite the GPU drivers being made for the S20 and Note 20 series, after testing, it appears to also affect the S21 series. This GPU driver is designed to improve the graphics performance of these Samsung phones. With that being said, definitely check out the end of the video to see FPS and battery charts and comparisons. I've also included real-time FPS overlay for those interested in tracking the device's performance. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button to stay tuned for my iOS 14.5 review and future performance testing. Thanks for watching and see you at the end of the video.
useful. Oh. <coughs> Next on the agenda. In conclusion, after multiple tests and getting around the same results, it is clear that Samsung Game Driver does indeed improve the S21 GPU's performance. For this particular test, we are seeing roughly a 14% GPU performance increase with Samsung Game Driver installed. In my opinion, this is huge as it not only increases FPS average, but if you watch gameplay and see these charts, You'll notice that FPS drops 173 times when Game Driver is not installed and drops only 16 times when Game Driver is installed. The FPS is more consistent and the game feels more smooth with Game Driver installed. Last, for those concerned about their device having to work harder to achieve better FPS and smoother gameplay, if you check battery power usage, you'll see that basically there is no difference in power consumption. Therefore, the device isn't working any harder than without the game driver installed. With that being said, again, thanks for watching. 
please don't forget to subscribe and help my small channel. Also, please be on the lookout for my iOS 14.5 review and future performance testing for both Samsung and Apple devices. Please stay safe and see you next time.